Today we're going to talk about the new wood burning pen attachment from Stepcraft that will allow you to utilize a wood burning pen to burn into a variety of materials such as wooden leather utilizing your Stepcraft CNC machine. So when you order the wood burning pen kit you actually get a, the wood burning pen itself with a tip as well as in a spring loaded adapter bracket. And what I'm going to show you now is how to assemble the bracket and how to assemble the pen inside the bracket and load it onto the machine. I will have a second video that I'll talk about how to import an image and to turn that into a tool path to properly set up and utilize the, the wood burning pen to create the G code in UC, for UCCNC. So the first thing we're going to do is take the contents of the package uh, out here. Uh, this is a, a set of uh, spare wood burning tips, but they they have specialized ends on them. We uh, will probably do a follow up video later on to show some different projects with these. But for right now, we're just going to set those aside. Now inside the package, we have the wood burning attachment, which consists of three separate components. There's a hub, an outer ring, and a retainer nut. Also inside we have three springs and a spare wood burning tip. So what we're going to do here is the first step is to take the wood burning pen and there's a slot on the hub and what we're going to do is we're going to run the power cord through that slot so that we can mount the pen into the hub. Now it's important to know that there's one end of the hub has three holes in it and that's where the springs are going to go and then the other end of the hub is a little bit longer. This is the end that you want to insert the pen in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide the power cord into the center of the hub, just like that. And then we're going to push the pen into the, the hub like this. Now you don't want to push it too, too hard right now because it'll expand the hub and we want to fit that a little bit tighter later. So for right now, we're just going to push it in so that it's solid. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put the springs into the three holes on the top here. So you've got one on each. Just be careful that you don't lose these springs. Okay. Now the next step is to take the, the outer uh, flange here and we're going to run the power cord from the uh, wood burning pen through this flange and bring it down over the hub like this. And you'll see that it's now it's springy, okay? What we need to do, the last step here, is we need to take this retainer nut, and that's gonna go over the bottom of the wood burning pen like this, and you're gonna slide it. Now, the, the fit is very precise here, so you don't wanna cock it or, or have it going crooked because it's gonna bind, so you wanna Bring it in nice and easy, very gently, and it'll slide right down. And then what we're going to do is we're simply going to tighten the nut on the bottom of the flange until it's finger tight. And that's it. Now, now you've got the wood burning pen mounted properly inside the holder. And you can see that it's, it's spring loaded and you want to make sure that it doesn't bind, that it moves in and out freely. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the wood burning pen attachment and we're going to install it into the step craft. That's done simply by placing it into the tool holder like this. And then you want to be careful when you tighten down the tool holder. And I'll show you why. If you tighten it too much, then what's going to happen is the, the you're going to push this up and it's not going to retract. You want remember this is spring loaded, so it should push back down. If it's too loose, then what's going to happen is when you lower this to touch the work material, the whole unit is going to pop right out and you don't want that either. So what you want to do is just be careful to tighten it snug enough so that you, you can push on the bottom of the pen, be sure it's not plugged in, and it'll move up and down while the holder stays seated properly in the, uh, in the tool holder, okay, just like this. So remember, too tight and you won't be able to push it at all, too loose and the whole thing's going to pop out. So you want to just find that, that kind of sweet spot where it's going to push down a little bit. And what we're going to do is when we set UCCNC on this, we're going to actually set the Z0 so that the tip touches 
the top of the work surface. And we're going to set the uh, depth for the actual tool path to an eighth of an inch. So that when this starts, when you start your job, the tip is going to come down to the top of the surface and the gantry, the z-axis, is going to move down an eighth of an inch, which is going to cause this spring-loaded mechanism to go up an eighth of an inch, which is going to keep constant tension on the tip as it makes contact with the wood. So we'll explain how to do that toolpath in the next video, and we'll also show you how this, this runs to uh, do a, a little pirate project.